Okay, we should be back. That was pretty quick. Ah, what the hell. I think we can do a whole... whole one. I'm having fun. So we got another wizard one. Or, like, ghost and goblin one to the G-Wiz. We got... this was one of my favorite levels back in the day. They're also one of my favorite levels. World 2 was always really popular with me. Uh, because you get to drive the motorbike. Tomb Time. Which is like the Egypt theme. And uh, Midnight Run. Because you're riding a tiger across the Great Wall of China. So we should reference this very famous Japanese game. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh. Sorry. I'm gonna do this because I want to ride a motorbike. Yeah, um, doesn't matter, yeah, you know, like, which... Oh, they actually give you the... Ah, uh, <laughs> Oh, this feels way different from the original game. It's kind of weird handling. It's fine, I'll get the hang of it pretty quick. This is what I assume America to be like, to be honest. Uh, what was I? Oh, fuck. I don't know why I did that. Yeah! Okay. Oops. Oh, I fucked that up. Well, I'm not gonna win now, am I? Nice work, butter buns. Get around this guy. Go get first. Ow! Let's finish there. <laughs> I'm just ramming this guy. Mm. So yeah, I'll try again now. This is going to be a long one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like my platforming. Oh, that wasn't good either. Just start off with a weebie. Uh, yeah, my experience of platformers is probably one of the harshest ways to experience a platformer ever. Here is your first platformer, child. One of the hardest platformers of your generation. Oh, that's too hard. Okay, have Spyro the Dragon, which is still pretty hard. Okay, what next? Rayman, which is not to be sniffed at. Croc. And if you remember one called Rascal, which was just fucking hell. It was terribly rendered. It looked awful, and it was just like, it just did not, just did not, it was horrible. The underwater levels were so frustrating. My entire family were like, give me that. And they were trying it, and there were just like tears of frustration from the adult members of my family. I think we got the gem. We, oh, we got the gem and I drew, oh, I gave it to me anyway, thank god. We got the gem. And because we got the gem, it's going to boot me out and tell me, well done, you got the gem, but you were second. <laughs> Whenever you win anything. You did the dance. We're going to try again for the... <laughs> I just got a win now. Critical pathing on this level. It's quite short, so it's actually quite hard to get ahead. Yeah! <laughs> That's what you need. It means you pass the last guy immediately. Uh, yeah. It's like, it, what, it was like, what was a Mario? Until I got a Game Boy, and then I was like, oh, this is a Mario. And for the largest period of my time, I was like, literally had not the slightest clue that, you know, platformers could actually be somewhat not a horrendous challenge. Don't know if it's faster to do that or to take the grams, to be honest. Let's get it, let's get it, it's faster. Yeah. Oh! Mm. Third. 
One second. I just got to take this guy. Oh, I chip that. I chip that. <laughs> I don't deserve that. Ref. I'm calling out my own bullshit. <laughs> that was close. I'm glad I got that on screen. <laughs> Why was he? You all saw that as well, right? Anyone want to explain why Crash had a crystal the height of him stuffed up his ass? Oh, oh. now he's walking pretty gingerly. <laughs> okay, I'm being I'm being really inappropriate. <laughs> For this kid's game that caused so many parents to swear word in front of their children for the first time. Daddy, why are you saying these rude words? The bandicoot. <laughs> I don't remember that being there. What's this stone in the floor? No! 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 It's nothing. I'm glad I went back for it. So this guy turns around and just slashes the air, practices his carters, and you have to go up behind him. Always he cuts off your pants. I'm not even joking. We will see it on the harder levels, because I'm bad. I thought there was always a monkey with pots here. Did they remove the monkey with pots? Is the monkey with pots insensitive? I don't know who chewed monkeys. Oh no, these were literally right there. There's some stuff in this, like, especially in the first game, that is like, I would, I would deem pretty culturally insensitive to Islander kind of uh, ethnicity people because they literally just got these, oh, and he knocks you back. Um, and it's like, they're shown in a very stereotypical manner, shall we say. In this, they managed to get away with it by it basically just being uh, Cortex's minions in cosplay. You know, it's all the guys are like the lab assistants. But there was a few stereotypes in the old ones. You can get away with all sorts of shit in the 90s. And a lot of euphemisms. They were just like, really? In this kid's game? We need a huge booby wooby character. That's why Torna was removed. Torna was removed. Oh. Torna was removed, the girlfriend in the first game. Uh, because they were worried Pamela Anderson was gonna sue. Because <laughs> like, it looked so much like her, apparently. And also because everyone was like, uh, in this kid's game, there seems to be a girl with massive... Oh. Yeah, let's just cut off that, that's better. No? There we go. You can just do that anyway. It's, it's fine. Don't use your brain. Oh. Brain? Oh no! The shockwave cannot reach it. We did it wrong. Oh, I can't even jump off this way. The shoes go up in the air. I never understood that. Like, why his shoes would fly up in the air when he fell on the ground. Maybe I'm just too stupid to understand basic things. So we've proven that I can do it the busted way, so we're just going to do that. Because I don't like those timer boxes. I always feel like they're going to cheese me out of something. So you got to hit the TNT. Just got to wait for it and not get blown up by it. It hits that. That's good. And then you fuck up the basic that. There you go. A lot of boxes in this level. So, yeah, what was I going to say about this? Yeah, I know, I know a load of Crash lore that I, like, question why I know it. I got really into the games and I got a lot of nostalgia for them. 
It's it's fine. So, they're not me into the hole. Oh, these genies. Some of these have pretty nasty, dank, like, death animations, to be honest. That I like. Ugh. Oh. Why? That's not fair. Oh! <laughs> he covered my pants! See, I told you. <laughs> Every time. You wouldn't let him cut off our pants this time, the perv. The fact that... Okay, I guess that's the only way you're going to handle it, isn't it? He's swinging the sword around. Like, oh no! Ooh! Oh! Monkey God. Every time with that. I was really hoping that one time I'd actually hit the box off the bottom. He's, he's really like, so happy with himself after he's slashed his way down here. Now let's try not to just die again. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this game. Now we can just go back and check. Straight away. Oh. <laughs> Is it gone? Yeah, the, the detonation kills it, so it's fine. These don't give as much bounce as I remember them. There you go. Oh, and this guy. He kind of floats in and out, and like it's hard if you've got poor depth perception to work out where he is. Turns you into a genie if you let him get near you. Good. Okay, good, I got the things. Uh, yeah, so here's my logic, and this I guess some people can appreciate this logic. When my estate agent says to me, No, nah, you don't have to pay anything until October now for your rent. You've paid everything. The first thing that goes to my mind is, Cool, now I can buy those video games. <laughs> of course. Great work. Super genius over here. Let's do G-Wiz, because I think this one also has stupid pants humor. There's a lot of this, actually, in this game. Oh no, you can see my pants. Like, this, like... Don't kill me. No! Those frogs, man. Watch out for them. <laughs> Double frog. So these literally exist purely to make the body slam worthwhile. And I'm pretty sure you can break them with the stand belly flop. <laughs> can we kill the frog, please? <laughs> This, the magic missile man. You used to have to hit him twice. You'd hit him once and his robe would... Ooh, this you can interact with these now. Like, okay, he used to have two hits. You'd spin and hit him and his robe would fall off and he'd continue hitting you in his pants. And then he, if you hit him again, his hat would be the only thing that's left. They apparently rebalanced it so you only have to hit him once because that was kind of annoying and meant he almost always got a hit in on you unless you were ready for the bounce back and the retaliation. Because like the spin would mean that his clothes would fall off and you'd rebound and have to do it again. Kind of made it a bit of a clusterfuck. But like, I didn't mind it. Make my video games slightly easier for people. Why can't I do the... There you go. Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to do. You can hit these chickens with a gun. You literally get a gun at one point. You get the Wampa Fruit Bazooka and you can shoot the chickens. I timed out awfully. I nearly got sliced in half. Now we're just going to blow this up then. Ow! 
out of the way. <laughs> Seems to last longer than I remember. Oh, and he just jumped into a... It never used to last that long. Uh, yeah, so... I'm kind of nervous, actually, from that. The talk about my rent. So I'm thinking sooner or later they're going to say, Yeah, um... No, mistake. You do owe us money. And me be like, Ah, oh, okay. I, I can still afford it. But, like... To be honest, as I'm as I'm not really planning on staying in this part of where I'm living right now uh, for much longer, it's basically like my rent is allegedly paid until I will leave this area entirely. So we gotta we gotta do some shit here. Ah, and obviously we have to go back. If you don't do it that way, you can't get the, the other box and it just doesn't control you. Yay! I remember way too much of this game. I was actually putting off LPing it because it's to the point where I kind of know these games to a degree where it's done my head in for too long now, <laughs> you know? Where it's like, I can just run through a lot of this and most of it's stored in my memory because I've played it on the original. Ooh. Um. And did it quite a lot on the original. Then when it came out on the PS3, and it was literally just a port on the PS3. Um. I played them all again, and Crash Team Racing again, and then there, I said to everyone when I was playing it. Wouldn't it be nice if they full remastered and there was a Crash Team Racing where you could play online and stuff like Mario Kart? Because I had more interest in Crash Bandicoot. Da, 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 da. That would be great. That would be so much fun. And that was like 2013, 2014 I said that. And then now we're in that universe where that happens. So yeah, it's like I can tell the future. I didn't think anyone cared enough, to be honest. I thought I was like the only person who cared about Crash and Spyro to this level that would be wanting to play it as a remaster. So I was really surprised. Why he's in the Ice Ages is beyond me. Dingadar is cool. I used to like Dingadar. I still do like Dingadar. I think it's funny. Although he's just an, he's a, he's a stereotypical Australian crocodile dingo with a flamethrower, so I guess not very stereotypical. At all. These are really nicely put together, these levels. I'm not sure if I can get all the boxes on this one. Some of them have split paths, some of these tomb ones. It's just got all of the stereotypes, and some of them I just don't understand, like... Why is there oil on the floor? Was that a thing in tombs in Egypt? Nice aesthetic, though. Especially for a kid who is obsessed with ancient Egypt, because I went through all of the stuff that kids, you know, go through. Dinosaurs, space, ancient Egypt... The levels get much longer later down the line as well. Yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, I knew something like this was going to come up soon. Where they're like, look! <laughs> yeah. Whee! And we just got these two. And there you go. Like, yeah, um, what was I going to say? So yeah, I kind of just have these logged into my brain way too much. Oh, there's a monkey here. 
can jump on him and he gets you hurt. It's a bit mean, actually. I don't know what this guy's job is. I want you to put the heavy blocks alongside... Maybe the oil is to transport the heavy blocks, but it's like, he does know he's just knocking them into a pit, right? See what I mean? This shit. It's like, you've got to go down that path somehow. I don't think you can at this point, because you don't have enough traversal options. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it opened the door. Um, let's try it. You can get there. Oh, you need... I thought it meant this is the path to get this, not... Okay. <laughs> No! Now I gotta go get the box. <laughs> Fucking forget it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because I don't want this LP to be a painful, tense experience for us all. I'm not making it the first, first couple of games. <laughs> I think I can't do any of them anyway, look. Come on, I can get through this second world level. I'm not that stupid. Yeah! Look, there's paint. I get the paint. I don't get the monkeys in the jars. It's like a lot of this is like, Egypt, all the things you think about. Monkeys in jars. Oil on the floors. <laughs> This shit. <laughs> Touch the light. Get wrecked. I'll just jump around it. I understand the snicks. There will be a guy also who just has a flamethrower near one of these as well, and you're just like, I'm sorry. Did they have flamethrowers in ancient Egypt? There we go, there's one. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there we go. Don't get squished, don't get squished. Yeah, like, what the... What? It looks like straight up he has gas tanks on his back. Not even like a primitive flame for... <laughs> He's got fucking ripped on the snake. <laughs> We're doing great, everyone. If I missed one box and it was that... Aku Aku box. I'm going to be so angry slash not surprised whatsoever. But there was a whole gem path, man. <laughs> no, we missed loads. It's better that we missed loads than we missed, like, one. So we got one more of this, and then I'm going to call it a day, because I'll be up until midnight playing the entire game back to back, and that's not healthy. So we did three... Did we do this one? Yeah, we just did it. Which leaves the only Coco level for this one. Weird thing. Only Coco can sit on the tiger, only Crash can sit on the motorbike. This is the gender role. <laughs> Girls get tigers, guys get motorbikes. <laughs> Everyone knows that, it's just weird if, you know, a guy sits on a car, well, a guy sits on a tiger, or a girl sits on a motorbike, and don't get me started about guys and their jet skis. I mean, back in my day, guys weren't allowed on jet skis. That's a girl-only activity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense. Also, oh, both of them get airplanes, but they have to be different designs. Otherwise, people will get confused. Crash has a biplane. And Coco has some weird frondy glider style thing, which is completely different. Shut up. Also, only girls get spaceships. This is the gender role that was just the most confusing shit growing up. Sorry, why is the girl character only get this? And it was like, oh, because they just need... It's really just a case that they didn't know what to give to. So they're just like, oh, you want to put Coco in the game so you can put something else in the back of the box? Okay, yeah, there's these levels that could have easily been crashed because it was crashed before. 
for the polar bear levels. We'll make them cocos. Yeah, look at the cocos now. That's why there's like no none on the original where she's on foot. It took me forever. It actually took me up until just now to realize what the guy spinning the stick is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a bow staff, I'm assuming. For a long time, I was like, why is that Chinese general just spinning a stick at me? Like, ha ha! I was always like, what the fuck is that? And then I realized, oh, because martial arts. Even though I've been doing martial arts for a long period of time in my life, it never occurred to me, huh. Maybe that was a martial arts thing. I just thought, apparently there were people carrying bricks and then other people spinning a stick on the Great Wall while it was being constructed. This is a fairly hard boss fight because it's got a series of fairly complex patterns that increase in speed and shit. But, like, the bosses in this game, they have a good mix, you know. There's a penguin, it's Penta Penguin. I think it actually is Penta Penguin, they gave him a pink tusk and everything. So, yeah, you gotta get him to blow up his own thing. You see the shadows. And if you don't get out, he blows up and he kills you as well. It's a lot of, like, fire-based deaths for this. I always fuck it up. He starts leading his shots after a while, and it's just like, oh, jeez. If you leave that... that thing for too long, he will just bring down more crystals if you don't attack him during the opening. Now this is where it gets real fucked. So I'm just like, what? Oh, no. That was actually... <gasps> don't kill me! Oh no, that's not the time to do that! That was easier than I remember. I'm sure you used to have like a 4-bit health bar. So Penta Penguin's there. That was... They, they made a, like, I think Japanese comic about Crash Bandicoot where his side character was Penta Penguin and, like, didn't really appear in any of the mainline games for a long period of time. So, yeah, like, kind of passed a lot of the fan base by and everyone's like, who the fuck's Penta Penguin? It's like, well, unless you read this really specific comic book run, it's no one, and you don't need to worry about them. So now we unlock this one, and, like, I'm not going to play it now. But I used to really like, like, to be honest, all of the warp rooms have really nice designs. This really just made me go, oh, look how pretty it is. <laughs> just... Then I look at the levels and I'm like, oh, oh no, oh no, some of my least favorite levels in the game here, that one's okay, that, oh yeah, I was about the motorbike one, but that's quite a hard one. And this one, I used to hate it as a kid, because uh, if the giants hit you with the clubs, it was a very sudden death that used to make me jump a bit. You just go, and you just smack against your screen, you're like, what the fuck? In one of my first games, I remember, and I was about five at the time, so. Uh, yeah, so, like, this will be the next session, I guess, and then I'll probably go out and do what room. Oh my god, we pretty much... <laughs> So, session one was this and this, one and two. Session two will be this and this. And session three will be the final level, if I do it at the same speed I was doing right now. And then we've got the bonus levels. And all the secret levels. Yeah. Okay. Time to save. We'll sign off there. Bye-bye.